Okay, on my podcast, my next question is from Tahara, and she's uh, asking if I've written anything on syntonic phototherapy. Well, syntonics, S-Y-N-T-O-N-I-C, comes from the word syntony, which means bringing into balance. And syntonics refers to a treatment using light and color therapy on the eyes. And this is something that I've been using a long time. You know, one of the things that I um, observed very early is that, you know, we take in light as a way to see, but there wasn't much discussion on the, the more light we take in through our eyes, the more we can radiate the light out of our eyes. And this creates health and better vision. And when I started to treat people with light and color uh, frequencies, I found that there were certain colors that people uh, disliked and there were certain colors that people loved. And when I began to give people the color that they did not like, it actually triggered a deeper balance, not only in their vision, but also in their consciousness. And, you know, when, when I began to use light therapy, I noticed that um, people would actually have an expansion of their peripheral vision. Because the retina is made up of photoreceptors, and due to stress, trauma, and toxicity, sometimes those photoreceptors get desensitized to uh, the light. And light is a very important nutrient for our eyes, brain, and body. But when I would start giving different color frequencies, it would stimulate those photoreceptors to uh, cause the photoreceptors to start working again. And things like visual suppression, where we, we black out or we block out one of the eyes to avoid double, or uh, we narrow our peripheral vision or we tighten our eyes, those patterns would go away when we received uh, a proper light diet. And uh, in some of the other things that I noticed about light therapy is that um, about 25% of the light that enters the eyes actually goes to the non-visual pathways. So what this means is, is that when light enters the eye, we have the potential for it to balance our nervous system. You know, if we take a look at the rainbow of colors, the red, orange, yellow, uh, tend to be very stimulating. Green is the center of the spectrum and blue, indigo, violet tend to relax us, reduce inflammation, uh, reduce edema. And so um, on an acute level, you can use color and light therapy to actually help reduce symptoms. And as you extend the treatment, it begins to affect uh, more of the chronic imbalances. So I've written a lot about light and color therapy. My first book, Creating Your Personal Vision, I wrote two chapters on light therapy. Um, I have a new book that's gonna be coming out in the spring where I'll also be uh, talking about light and color therapy. And I wrote a book called I Sense uh, at Play in the Field of Healing. And in that book, I talk about how I'm able to measure energy fields using a type of Curlian camera called the GDV camera. And in that particular book, I talk about some of the research I did using that camera, measuring people before I gave them light therapy and after I gave them light therapy. And I noticed that it really changed their energy fields. Anyway, there's a lot to it. Uh, thank you so much for the question.